Hey guys, what's up? Blu-ray Legend here again with another video. I know I'm putting them out kind of fast. Well, I'm trying to catch up with some titles. Um, the last video I did was my 4K collection. I forgot a 4K title. And that 4K movie is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. This was a really cool movie. I really enjoyed this. I love all the Harry Potters. I own all the Harry Potters. Um, I grew up watching them when I was a kid. And now the future gets to see Fantastic Beasts, which I can't wait. All right. That was to wrap up my 4K collection. I've been, I'm not meaning to do it, but it's kind of working out. Um, they're kind of linking together, and I like that. Um, my next thing is my steelbooks. Um, a lot of people don't know that steelbooks exist. If you're a movie collector, this is one of the coolest things to collect for movies. Um... I like their cases. Um, they're hard to keep and maintain perfectly. I've been doing a great job of it. I put my movies uh, on the shelf as the steelbook, but I have vinyl so they don't scratch on my shelf. And when I loan them out, because some of these movies I don't have duplicates of on uh, Blu-ray, I put them in a Ziploc bag and I tell my family... Put them back in there because these will scratch. We're going to start from W and work our way to A. Uh, first one up is a Tom Cruise movie from 2006, War of the Worlds. I love this movie. I love this steelbook. It's very beautiful. You see this spine right here? It's one of the best spines to have. It has its own little clip. You open it up. And it's just beautiful. It's outstanding on the inside. Some of them are plain Jane. Some of them actually have scenes from the movie. I really enjoy this movie. I really enjoy this steel book. I have some beautiful steel books in here. There's a lot of my, uh, like, Blu-ray, uh, who is it? Uh, Big Block Entertainment. He has a cool, he has some steel books that are cool. Um, there's a lot of guys out there, Blu-ray Outlaw, Flicks and Movies, Cinema, uh, Cinema 7, or something like that. I've been checking their videos out. I really enjoy them. This is a good movie. Next up, we have Brad Pitt, World War Z. I really love this steelbook. It's beautiful. Uh, I'm sorry about the lighting. i got to fix my lighting in here. Here, let's try shutting that off. Oh, too dark. Uh, anyway, beautiful steelbook. I think this is plain Jane in here. Pretty sure. Nope, it's not plain Jane. It has the zombies attacking the helicopter, which is pretty cool. I know these are going to be hard to see because they are glossy. Um, now we have the first steelbook. I have three steelbooks in here I bought when I first heard about steelbook. Um, this is a Hugh Jackman movie. A Stephen Sum uh, Summers film with Kate Beckinsale, limited edition Van Helsing. I really enjoy Van Helsing. I consider this part of the underworld. Um, I don't know if you'll agree with me or not, um, but she's a vampire in this still, and she hunts down werewolves. And it's really good. Uh, it's one of my favorite films of 2003, and that's when the first Underworld came out. Um, and I really enjoyed it. It was confusing to see Underworld and then this come out. And they're, they're linked together somehow, I was told. Um, but it's pretty cool. The next still book I have is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I got this from my son. He picked it out. He loved it. Um, you got all four of the Ninja Turtles on the front. And then you got Shredder on the back. You open it up. And it's actually the sewer that they live in. It's really cool. I really enjoyed this steel book. Um, the next steel book, is, next couple steel books, is my wife's uh, Blu-ray collection of The Hunger Games. This is Mockingjay Part One, and uh, it's a really good movie. I really enjoy this these series. I like the Divergent series better, but that's my opinion. Um, I really enjoyed this. It it's not plain Jane. On the inside, it actually has. Let me pop this out. 
Looks like this on the inside. It's really cool. I put my Blu-ray first and then the DVD. I do that with all my Blu-rays. And that wasn't like a glossy. It, it was kind of rough. It was like a matte. And next we got the Hunger Games Catching Fire. This is really cool. I like this. I think it's it's not plain Jane. It has Katniss Everdeen in it. Um, I really enjoy these steel books. The next steel book I have, it's one of my favorites. This movie came out a long time ago. And it actually has Vin Diesel in it too. This is a Steven Spielberg movie, Tom Hanks, Saving Private Ryan. I love this war movie. It's one of the best war movies ever made, except for Hacksaw Ridge. Um, Hacksaw Ridge was amazing. It was phenomenal. Uh, Andrew Garfield just did a tremendous job in that film. So did uh, Vince Vaughn. It was really good. Uh, Vin Diesel's in this movie, too. Uh, in 99, he came off of doing the voice of the Iron Giant, which I have that movie. It's a really good movie. Sorry, my wife is yelling at my son because he doesn't like to listen. He likes to touch my stuff. No! Next up is a movie, uh, still book we haven't opened yet. Uh, we got this for my son for Christmas. And that's the Space Jam steel book. This is a very beautiful steel book. I watched an unboxing for it. It is just beautiful. I love that cover with Michael Jordan. I'm a huge Michael Jordan fan. Bill Murray's in it. You gotta love Bill Murray. Um, they have a... Caddyshack Steelbook I really want. This next movie I grew up with in 2007. It helped me get through high school. I went to a lot of parties. Um, it's, it's, I really enjoy it. It's the Super Bad Steelbook. I really enjoy this Steelbook. It's that mate finish. It's nice and rough. I like it. You got the, that's the front. This is the back with the cop car. Pretty cool. On the, in the inside, it's plain Jane. It's just all red. Um, uh, the Blu-ray is the unrated extended edition, and they're both Blu-ray, I, I presume. Yes, and this, too, is the unrated bonus disc. Um, I really enjoy Superbad. It was very fun to watch. These next, uh, steelbooks I came across at a little thing in Indiana called Cover Bridge Festival. I go there every year. I buy most of my movies there. And I found uh, these steel books there. Uh, Resident Evil Afterlife. This movie, these movies are some of my favorite movies. I love zombies. World War Z put a new take on it. The zombies were faster. But I, I like Resident Evil. Um, she's one of my favorite actors, actresses. Um, her first movie was actually The Fifth Element. And I want that steel book. It's beautiful. Um, and I want the movie that the guy uh, made, uh, Falkyrie. Um, it's from the producer of Fifth Element. And then we have Resident Evil Extinction. Beautiful steel book. You got that crow back here with the skeletons. It's really cool. And on the back, you got the executioner on this one. Really good. On the insides, I'm not quite sure. Oh. They have, and this was actually bought at Walmart. It was like twenty one sixteen after tax. You got this disgusting guy. You all know who this is. This guy was so disgusting in the movie. But it's pretty cool to see it on the inside. It came with the J slip. And I'm figure out figure out what year this actually they actually purchased it. Is that mommy car? Wow. Came out in 2011. The Steelbook did. The movie came out a long time ago. Uh, and they paid $19.96 for a $6% tax. Wow. Now it's 7%. And this thing's about going up after tax. It's uh, $21.16. Not bad. A good price for a Steelbook. Now they're $22.99. Uh, I, I will pay $22.99 any day for a Steelbook because that's a great price. It's better than going to their website. Their website... They range from $79.99 to $89.99. I've thought about purchasing film movies there. I am so sorry. My steelbooks just fell. Give me one Sorry about that, guys. My steelbook fell off my uh, dresser. But anyway, my next steelbook um, is Oblivion with Tom Cruise. Love this movie. Also has Morgan Freeman in it. 
it's one of my favorite spines. It has these uh, clips. It's better than the ones that just have the spine that fold out with it. This actually comes together. This is a beautiful, beautiful steel book. Um, I would like to say I did ruin some of this price if I ever go to sell it. Um, at the time, I didn't know they were worth money. And I put my name in here because my friends were stealing them. But that's a beautiful steel book you get on the inside. Beautiful. You got Tom Cruise sitting right here looking out. looking. It's a really good movie. I really enjoy this. I haven't watched it in forever. The next steel book, I don't know why I have this steel book. Um, I don't like the movie, but it's an awesome looking steel book. And it's for, it has Russell Crowe, the movie Noah. This is an alright movie uh, for what it is. Uh, they always said it was supposed to be about the biblical times. Um, well, that's funny because when the Noah's Ark was happening, there was no battle going on. So it's its own take of what happened. It's still a pretty good movie for what it is. I haven't watched it in forever, but it's a beautiful steel book. Uh, it's plain Jane on the inside. You guys already seen this in one of my uh, in my 4K collection. Um, this is not a 4K movie. This is Blu-ray, and it's the Men in Black 3 Steelbook. Um, you, you got Will Smith right here, Tommy Jones on the back. On the inside, it's awesome looking. This is the Blu-ray disc. It's a cake. It's pretty cool. You got one of the, you got the bad guy right here, I can't remember his name, uh, I can't remember his name for the life of me, but it was the guy that, uh, Tom Lee Jones put in prison on the moon. Next up is the second steel book, third steel book I've ever bought, and that's the Hangover Part 2 steel book, um, this has been through hell. Um, at the time, I didn't know they could scratch like that, um, and I was young. I was like 17, and I moved a lot, and people, all my friends would just throw them around and all that. They don't even touch the steel books now. They let me. It's pretty good. Actually, I talked to you guys earlier about taking too much of my cash Next up is the first steel book I bought. Uh, is the first hangover. I have the third, I don't have the third hangover. I used to. It got stolen from me. The next steel book is for, it's a Dwayne Johnson movie. It's a Burt Rittner film, and it's Hercules. I really love this movie. Um, when I bought this movie, I bought it at Disc Replay. It's bent, it hardly wants to stay shut. I'm very disappointed in it. But it was still a good movie. Um, my friend stole the DVD from me. But that's what it looks like on the inside. Uh, these friends I'm telling you about are no longer my friends. They didn't care about my stuff or anything. Um, and it's very disappointing because I've spent a lot of money on them. I've even bought them skill books. Anyway, uh, coming into the last stack, um, I do have some digi books to show you guys. Um, this next one is Hellboy 2, the Golden Army, a lim Golden Army limited edition comic book. Um, I love The Golden Army. I love Hellboy. This movie is awesome. I can't wait uh, to see the remake. Um, you guys heard my mixed views on it. Um, I'm a huge fan of Ron Perlman. Um, on the inside, it's just plain Jane Silver. Nothing special. Next up is a movie that um, has a lot of mixed views, but made one beautiful steelbook. Um... It's the Ghostbusters Answers the Call. It's the third one. Um, it has the all-woman cast. I enjoyed the movie. I thought it was funny. But look at this steelbook. It is so beautiful. Hands down. Beautiful steelbook, guys. Very beautiful. I love this steelbook. On the inside, it's green with the Ghostbusters symbol. Really enjoyed this film. Me and my wife enjoyed this film. I laughed. I enjoyed it. I got scared. Uh, like, not scared scared, but like, um, jump scared. This next film was actually supposed to be my 4K, uh, cause it's a 4K movie, and it's the steelbook of The Fate of the Furious. I love this movie. This movie, I did, on uh, my old channel, 
Um, if you look up Blu-ray Legend, my first channel I did is the Joker face with the lighting all over his face. Um, I have a review on this, and I did a lot of talking. Um, I love this movie. Uh, I love this steelbook. It's very beautiful. Um, on the inside, it's plain Jane. Um, I loved it. This movie was awesome. Uh, they put a Lamborghini on ice. Um, they actually did some actual real footage uh, New York, they was actually allowed to go the speeds they were allowed, they were allowed to squeal the tires, except for one thing, if they stopped at a red light, and the lead right went green, and they didn't go, they actually got a ticket and could go to jail, um, this was an awesome movie, this next movie, uh, is another Fast and the Furious, um, and these, this Steelbook's proceeds went to the Paul Walker Foundation. It's uh, Fast and Fast Six. Um, very beautiful. Very beautiful. On the back, you got Paul's car and the. Uh, um. Oh, sorry. Right. Anyway, it's very beautiful. And on the inside. Watch your recommended box. Take a minute. Take the car. Anyway, on the inside of the steelbook, it has a scene. It's an awesome scene with uh, Tyrese Gibson in his Mustang and Brian's uh, Ford Escort. It's a scene where Tyrese Gibson's car gets crushed by the tank. I love this movie. This movie was awesome. Rest in peace, Paul. Um, being as I'm talking about Fast and the Furious, I want to show you guys a couple things my wife got me um, at Cover Bridge Festival, which is the die-cast model of Paul Walker's. This was actually Paul Walker's car in real life, too. He actually owned it. About 90% of the cars you saw him drive, he owned. It's a little dusty, but this is the 2000... From the too Fast, Too Furious. This is Skyline from the beginning of the movie. I love this. This is awesome. I didn't even know they had die-cast models. And that was pretty cool. And then I bought my wife uh, Suki's uh, car. She was drawing in the movie. Um, she loves Suki in the movie. And so I got her the car. And then my friend Lucas, which is another fellow movie collector, um, he don't do YouTube, um, he leaves that to me, um, maybe sometime I'll have him on my channel and we can do a video together, talking about movies, um, he got me this diecast car, um, from Fast 7, I believe, uh, if this is the car that took it back to old school, he flipped a switch and it dropped down and he went under the, the semi, I love that, anyway, back to the steelbooks. Um, for Christmas, I got surprised with a steelbook that I didn't know that was still around. Um, there, I don't know if you can still find them, probably on Amazon. But in the stores, they're hard to find. It is the comic book, limited edition, Fast and the Furious steelbook, the first one. Um, the first film is one of my favorites. I love all the Fast and the Furious. I own every single one of them. Um, I enjoy these movies. I'm a car nut. Um... Every time I watch these movies, I go and play Fours of Seven, Fours of Six, and so on. I really enjoy this. Uh, this is not open. I'm not going to open it because I own the first film on Blu-ray. So I'd rather use that instead of opening this. Now, this next one is a video game movie. Um, very, very popular video game. It is the granddaddy of all first-person shooter video games. Um, without it. There would be no Call of Duty, I guarantee it. Um, this movie is based off of the video game Doom. It has Carl Urban and The Rock, and it's the comic book called the Limited Edition. A very beautiful cover. I love it. It's in great condition. I bought this at a pawn shop. It has a couple scuffs right there and right here. Really enjoy this. On the inside, it's plain Jane as usual. Um, it's very beautiful. I loved this movie when I was a kid. So I picked it up because my friend stole the DVD from me. Funny how that happens. You get nice shit. Now, I want to talk about this movie. 
Uh, it's pretty cool. Dracula Untold and that awesome steelbook. Um, this has Luke Evans in it. I'm pretty sure it's Chris Evans' brother. Um, very, I love this movie. This movie was awesome. My friend Lucas told me about it. He told me I need to go pick it up. Well, I didn't go very far, and I grabbed the steelbook. And he was looking at the steelbook, so I snagged that up. Um, yes, we are almost done with this video. Uh, next up, we have a, an awesome steelbook I got at a pawn shop. Clash of the Titans steelbook. I enjoy this. Uh, it's an awesome steelbook. Uh, plain Jane on the inside. But on the back, you get to see the Kraken, and on the front, you got him riding his horse. Really love this movie. Next up, we have a comedy, um, and this is one and two, and that's the Acreman collection, and this awesome, beautiful steelbook on the back. is It's just so beautiful. On the inside, you got Anchorman 2. Anchor Man, and you take them out, and it has pictures of the covers of the first movies. This is a very thick steelbook. This thing's so heavy, I enjoy it. Next up are my digibooks. Um, I got more digibooks somewhere. I probably put up in the garage or up in the attic. I can't remember where I put them. But well, we're gonna start off first with uh, Ghostbusters one and two digibook, uh, remastered in 4K. If you don't know. Blu-ray has been doing 4K quality for a long time. They remastered mastered in 4K. They do this all the time. 4K is not new. 4K has been around for a while. But I'm, this is a beautiful digibook. Uh, very good uh, quality. Really good. Uh, I'm saving the best for last, and I will not be opening this. Uh, I've been talking about an unboxing for this, but I decided I don't want to do it. Next up is... Uh, Clint Eastwood's Dirty Harry Digibook. Paid five bucks for this at the Disc Replay in Terre Haute. I like Clint Eastwood. I like all his films. Next up is another Digibook. It's Twi the Twilight Saga Eclipse. This will not fit on my fucking shelf because I made my shelves homemade. And this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. This is a Blu-ray. A Blu-ray. And a DVD flip disc of the movie. Never seen that before. I got this also at Disc Replay. And it was, it's beautiful. It's pretty cool. It's huge. I got, you got postcards right here of the cast and characters. Next up, we got the Hunger Games 3 Disc Deluxe Edition Digibook. Uh, I got. Mocking J Part 1 and Blu ray with a slip. Uh, this is a cool digibook. Really like it. Uh, the next digibook. I know this is a long video. Um, I'm thinking about my next video doing my uh, George Lucas films. If you guys want to see that, please hit the like button, subscribe, and comment if you want to see it. Next up is. The 20th Anniversary Limited Edition, a film by Steven Spielberg, Schindler's List. This movie is awesome. Liam Neeson kills the role. This movie has been out since 1993. This movie is almost 25 years old. Same age as me. And I enjoy this movie. It's a long movie. And if you're not ready to sit down and watch this, don't watch it then. Beautiful still book. I'm not still book, digibook. I bought this at the pop, uh, uh, disc replay for five bucks. I couldn't pass that up because at Best Buy, where I buy my movies, $39.99. Now, this is hard for me not to open. I'm a huge fan of all these movies, especially the first one in 89. And I gave away what it is. This is the Diamond Lux Edition uh, digibook of Batman. There is a guy on YouTube. All you got to type up is uh, Diamond Lux Edition, Batman 1989. And you will see how beautiful this book this is. This is awesome. I'm really glad to have this in my collection. I paid $24.99 for this at Barnes & Noble. 
And uh, I really enjoy these movies. I have three different copies of this movie. And I also have the 1966 Batman film with Adam West. Um, rest in peace, Adam. We all miss you. Um, family Guy is not going to be the same. Anyway, this is awesome. I'm glad I have this in my collection. I'm really happy I have it in my collection. Anyway, guys, that's my video. Uh, I got a couple more digibooks here I didn't know about. Next up, uh, it's kind of beat up. It's the social network. I really enjoy this. This is about Facebook. Punk, profit, genius, billionaire, uh, trader. Uh, I really enjoy this. This is a beautiful digibook. Uh, I like uh, Facebook, and it was pretty cool to see uh, what he had to go through. You know? Next up is Daniel Craig. I can't, Ronnie Mara, the girl with the dragon tattoo. I love this movie. This movie was awesome. A lot of people dogged it. Beautiful digibook. There's Daniel Craig. There's the, uh, Ronnie Mara, I believe. Uh, very beautiful. I bought this at um, Disc Replay. Paid five bucks for it. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's very beautiful. It's very good condition. Um, I buy most of my digibooks there. And that's why I pick up most of my steel books. Um, oh, I forgot about this digibook collection. This next digibook collection, I, I know, I keep finding them. Uh, the Dark Knight Trilogy. This is a huge digibook collection. Um, it comes with this book. tells all about it. Pretty cool. I have two of these because uh, I had it on DVD first. You open it up. Uh, first off, you open up to the Dark Knight face, and you open up to Batman looking out, and then it opens up this big this thing is huge, uh, but I'm a huge Batman fan, glad to have this in my collection, and anyway, this video is almost 30 minutes long, and I keep finding more digibooks, <laughs> so guys, that was my video, this might be the last video of the day, I want to watch some movies now. Uh, anyway, thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to hit a comment. Tell me what you want to see in the next videos or what movie reviews you want me to do, and I'll do them. Have a great day, guys.